edit five. Tonight, for the first time in 13 years, the nation's firemen are considering taking industrial action in pursuit of a pay claim. But does that mean that morale in the fire service is low? Edit 5 has been to one of the region's busiest fire stations to find out. She's second left. Is she going down on Walmart Avenue? Okay. Under, under the bridge first left, then second left. Hey, no. On that bridge. Is she second left? in pursuit of a pay claim. Firemen are worried that they're about to be forced to abandon their hard-won pay formula. But does that mean that morale is low and that there's widespread dissatisfaction in the fire service? Well, the answer appears to be no. Edit 5 joined Red Watch at one of the region's busiest fire stations. There, we found a group of professionals who are utterly engrossed in their work and also obtaining maximum satisfaction from a job which gets tougher by the day. Rachel, off go watch dismiss. Fancy name's Blue Watch. So, no Parnaby. What a tender. Sorry, what a lad. A driver, Fan Williams. Yeah. Fan Parnaby. Oh. Fan Killingbeck. Good. Yeah. Fan Wade. Yeah. Fan Lindsley. Speak to the tilt, sir. Not at this moment, no. Great shot, ball out. We have a nickname the Gibson Commandos. We like to think that we're a little bit, uh, dare I say, better than the rest of the brigade, only because we've more experience. Um, I mean, every fireman does a hell of a lot of training, and they're all equally as good as one another. But our responses are perhaps a little bit better because we're doing it on such a regular basis. That's all. It's the difference between being a car driver and a racing car driver, I suppose. East Leeds, one of the most densely populated urban areas of Europe. More than 30,000 people live on three huge council estates of Halton Moor, Seacroft and Gipton. Last year, the fire station here handled just under 5,000 calls. It's the busiest in West Yorkshire. Twenty minutes into their shift, Red Watch get their first call out. Their destination, an office block in the centre of Leeds. Right, it is. It's a light show. It's not a hit in light show. It's a rest of light, that's all. In the absence of a real fire, Red Watch returned to base for a practice session. Last year, Gibton received 4,944 call-outs, an average of 13 a day. Their workload has more than trebled in the last 20 years. Shoves it, wide balls with an open face, trying to 
slide it to squarish cover area. But I think you've just got to enjoy him and uh, accept his good points, not his bad. You're on the bridge, Mike. Yeah. Then turn left. Uh, it's your second left as you're going down on Wattlemore Avenue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, under the bridge first left, then second left. Hey, no. On the bridge. It's your second left. And then it's your first left. I'll guide you in. get quite a lot of house fires, uh, mostly in derelict houses fortunately, but uh, like chip pans and, and electric blankets and the usual stuff in winter. And because it's so densely populated then obviously we get a few more than a lot of the stations. I just forgot I'd put it on and I'd come outside. Come out and I forgot. Oh no, she was doing a garden. Can I just put it out for We're in the house on your own? Yeah, just me and Doug. Yeah, he's out. he's out. In the heart of Gipton's patch is Casterton Gardens. The firemen say it's twinned with Beirut. Not a soul lives here, but there's plenty to keep the fire brigade busy. Is it a house? Car fire, Casterton Gardens. stealing has taken over from whatever else the kids did you know I mean in our days it was football we love you and all that sort of just you know it's car stealing it was teenagers now it's got down to kids as young as 11 12 13 year old stealing them dumping them once we start learning about the estates and the kids start seeing us then occasionally bonfires and that sort of stuff we get a, an adverse reaction in the form of bricks and stones, verbal abuse. Uh, not what we can do about it, we just take it as it comes. It didn't happen ten years ago. Uh, I don't want to get into politics, but a lot of the reason is that they've no else to do. If the kids had, or if the teenagers had jobs to go to, they'd come on tired, go out and have a beer, go out with their mates, with the birds, go to bed. They can sleep all day and come out to play at night time. And that's, I'm afraid, is what it is, it's play. Don't look upon it as all else. Uh, some of them, it's, a, it's a, an obsession. It's, it's, a, it's like smoking. They can't, they can't give it up. But it must be in the right point. This has probably been stolen earlier on, and uh, probably just ridden around for ten minutes. Ten minutes, possibly then. Uh, this is a favourite dumping ground for them. We've been here uh, several times. Every, every call here is now three pumps. Why is that? Uh, that's purely for uh, our own protection. Um, one, usually one pump to deal with the fire. And uh, the other two just for backup should we get stoned. In the past we've turned up with one pump and we've been uh, dealing with the incident. And we've had you stealing equipment off the, or attempting to steal equipment off the pumps. Um, stoning us and uh, the police aren't always uh, able to attend as quickly as we'd like so purely for our own safety uh, there's a three pump attendance for everything to this uh, street. Thanks. Okay, Dave. About three pieces of bread. Oh, uh, okay. That was season eight. First, by simply lifting and from there. Wow, what's on the neighbours or something? I'm not sure. Give the uh, floor clear. Say again. 
It doesn't give the floor, it just says Spalding Towers. Oh, right. Left. Is it an entry code? Spotted. It's an entry code, but. Spalding Towers, it's that. We've been before, isn't it? Quite yeah. Awesome. yeah, but it's the door code. It's always like this, this lift, you know. Yeah, Joe, turn over one, mate. Another one here, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you just have television. I've got some there, haven't I? We'll try that. Yeah, there we go. We'll get out. Whoa. You've been framed, Jeffers. Can you see the wheel, boss? No. We must do just like that up. Go upstairs. Push that. It's a very rewarding job. When things go right, when things go wrong, it's it's a little bit sad. But when things go right and we do the job we're trained to do properly, and the results are good results, in as much as rescues and fires put out, then yeah, it's, it it's, uh, gives you the right buzz. Well, that's all from Edit Five for this.